black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right. Welcome to everything you're going to need for today's deli style meal. I got a bunch of shit here, as you can see. And you'll just have to see it come together as we go. But it's all here. We're going to toss it together. Join me over here after I take a sip of this. Diet Coke, of course, which is devil's fluid. We all know that Diet Pepsi is much better. That's right, Martin. That's right, Martin. You know. You know. All right, so I'm definitely going to want to be making a sauce. And you, of course, you guys know why. I'm a saucy, saucy guy. But for me, that's going to involve some pickle. So we get the best pickle in the world out a Clawson pickle and I want it real nice and fine, fine and dandy. My name is Randy. I live in a trailer park. Do, 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 do. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So I want to get these guys pretty match stick thin. So those are good, except for these guys have to get thinner. Don't we all, right? I mean, I could definitely stand to lose a few pounds, but hey, I run an eating channel for a living on YouTube. So there's always that, right? These are things we have to contend with, but we try our best. Okay, nice little Julien strips, and then we gonna go real fine. So I don't know about you guys, but I like the chunks of things in my sauce to be you know very lightly detectable i don't love huge chunks of pickle or anything for that matter in my sauce mixtures so we try to make them as fine as tyra banks in the 90s you know you get it you understand. So those are looking pretty good, maybe. Oh, easy now, earthquake, relax. One more little fine dice across, but you know, that's what we're looking for. Up close and personal, nice and molecule-esque, you know, molecular level. Okay. Okay, done with those, off to the side, but we already need them right away again, pretty much. Got myself a bowl. Into the bowl. Heaping spoon of mayo. Squirt of ketchup. Maybe a quarter of that. Another quarter squirt ballpark mustard. Very small squirt Dijon mayo for a little bite. A little bit of horseradish. More bite. Some salt. A dash of this pickle vinegar. Pinch paprika. Pinch curry powder. Pinch of cumin. Call me nuts, don't know why I'm doing it. Simulated bacon bits. Why not? Fine pickles. Whip that shit. Pardon me while I have a little test there, guys. <laughs> wow, what can I say? Ah, so good. Next on the prep list, my buns, baby. We got a pretzel bun here. We're gonna butter these buns. But what I wanna do is I wanna make it into three. So I wanna have a top, a middle, and a bottom. So let's go. This looks pretty good for a bottom. Yeah, yeah, hold your thoughts. Okay, boom, perfect. Now, a middle. See, there's lots of bread to go around. You need you got more bun than you'd ever need, you know? Cool. So, top, middle, bottom, and of course, we got a butter. I keep my butter at room temp at all times, you guys, because there's nothing worse than going to butter something and it basically jack the rippering everything out of your bread. Just myrtleizing your bread so you just want to avoid that at all costs right so might as well keep her at room temp she doesn't 
rancidify that quickly, it keeps quite long. Wouldn't be one of my vids without some fine shredded iceberg, of course. So that's gonna have to happen right now. Roll it up, just roll it up. Oh, come on table, be more stable. Seed. Also not one of my videos without a green onion chop. One cup of water, a pack of gravy, and she's all gravy, baby. It's easy from there. It's almost like we're cheating, which we pretty much are. I admit it. This is not that authentic, but nobody got time for that. All right, let's put that on a simmer now. more prep to be had. What we got here? You want some beef with me? I got smoked beef pastrami, baby. Let's get it open. Mmm, looking nice. All right, let's bring in a bun reference here. How much are we gonna need? It's about there. Okay, let's just make it like that. But on patty one, I am gonna separate it for the moment. Move that back here. Save that for another time. All right, patty two here, also being split in half for the moment, just for the moment. All right, bring in the baking tray, bring in all the patties. Naturally, we're gonna have cheese, of course. I should probably have parchment paper down, but you know what, I'm willing to risk it, okay? Pop these boys in the oven at 350. All right, oil in the pan so we can fry up some tiger pots for a nice side dish of some sort. Is it ready? She's bubbling. One nice, perfect side portion of tots goes in. golden baby look at these hear those those are gonna be crispy and very very nice up close all right these have entered the goldilocks zone i tell you what i think this might be one of the best tater tots i've ever seen in my entire life to be honest with you i'm really excited for these can't wait one rogue tot all right, getting close, y'all. Bun toast in time, which means we are definitely entering the home stretch. Remember, these are pre-buttered, so just get the pan, you know, mild hot and let them do their thing. But keep a close eye because they can burn quickly. Just rub them in a little tender love. Work them around, make them nice and even. All right, perfect. Looking good, looking good. How about you, sir? Oh, he still got a little bit to go. Maybe we move you over here because that's probably the better area. How about you? Perfect. Give your give your top, your dome piece a little 
toast it. Turn that heat off and pop those off. Coming in hot with the cheesy meaty patties. There we go. Go ahead and do some combining of them. I knew that the cheese was a risk and I will have to do those dishes. I ate myself. All right, a couple patties. All right, gang's all here and I'd say it's time to assemble. So bottoms up, special sauce. The glue, perfectly shaved. Icebergian lettuce. Patty one, hello. Middle section. I say that we probably would repeat process, would you? I think so, I do believe so. Lay your lettuce bed and then feast your eyes on patty two. Readjust the shot for lid topping. I'd say another sauce drizz for good mesh. And a pretzel to top her off. And like a true professional, we skew to hold her stiff. He's a thing of beauty, I tell ya. Look at it. Would you just look at it? All right, tater tot time. This is proving difficult <laughs> to stack them. This plate doesn't uh, encourage structural integrity and in how slippy it is. Kind of like a poutine time. Cheese, mozzarella, liquid hot gravy. <laughs> As it were. Bacon bits. Some crispy O's, you guys know I gotta take it there, of course, every time, every video. Y'all know I love my ketchup -y poutine. And a little bit of green onion to cap her off. And that's it. That's a plate that we need to eat. Wouldn't you agree? I know I would. All right, yo, what up? Welcome to mybeautifulcreations.com. Kidding, but I am excited. I'm hungry. I'm not here for the games. I'm here to smash. I'm excited to eat this. Hope you enjoyed the intro. It was goofy, maybe a little informative. Also, just uh, look in the fridge, see what I got, come up with it, and smash. So that's what I'm going to do with no further ado. Cause I'd be ready. I am just going with an icy water today. I'm all out of other drinks for the moment. I gotta go do a, a run for that. So my apologies, but you know, sometimes a nice glass of water is really where it's at. So, especially with what we're about to eat. So yo, I don't even know what it's called. Basically a sex child of a Big Mac meets a mm, pastrami sandwich, like a Russian dressing style pastrami sandwich type thing. Just my own take, a little pretzel bun, but she is going to be greasy and sloppy and crazy. And I'm just gonna go nuts on it, so bear with me. Oh my word. This one is gonna be messy guys. Look at it. Slipping, sliding, all that pastrami in there. This lettuce out the back. The bun is giving way in such a beautiful way though. It's melting your mouth. 
legitimately melt in your mouth. That's crazy. <laughs> Rich. Salty. Acidity, pickly, cut through kind of the fattiness, mayo and the meat. And then what's really standing out is the, some cute, the, the cumin's kind of, it's, it's there in a nice way though. Okay, let's try these perfect, perfect tots. The beautiful gravy. Nice cheese, eh? My favorite. That makes me happy. Very, very happy. Wow. The one thing I wish I had real bacon on it. I wasn't willing to defrost a pack of bacon for like one or two strips. But my word. Come on. Focus it. Mm. So so good. I told you guys in the past this recipe basically comes from Uh, when I used to uh, snowboard, they had this version of a fries out there. I'm all excited to go snowboarding again, right? Because I haven't been in like five years, maybe longer. I looked at the website today, it says they're open. I get so excited. Get everything ready. Drive out this morning. Thinking I'm about to go snowboarding. Also being like, maybe not because it's been unseasonably warm. But they make snow, so it's been cold enough to, to make snow. Got out there, <laughs> friggin' ghost town. Nothing happening. Well, some people there working on it, but it was barren. Hardly any snow. I was so bummed out, but luckily it's only like a, it's literally like a 15 minute drive, so. Wow. Imagine you, you like, you know when a Subway sandwich gets like super juicy? Imagine that, but just turbo time. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Water today was the right choice as well. Man, I can't believe how perfect these tots are. Flight path. What up? That's a staple thing in these videos now. Mmm. So yeah. 
Just been kicking it, vibing around. Plotting and scheming, thinking about the live pay-per-view hair reveal. Where we hang out. Have a good old time. Also been thinking about in the future here doing a Patreon for like way different, like way more in-depth type shit that you can't talk about on YouTube. At least safely where they don't like censor you or shadow ban you or like delete you. Kind of more adulty content but also just content relative to like deeper stories about like my life and shit that happened like shit that i just feel like i can't say on here anymore so i'm stockpiling video ideas and once i shoot them this is still in the in the future a bit okay bad i'll fire up are ya um, but once I have them all like kind of stockpiled and ready, then open up a Patreon and then just start like rolling them out. And then also while it goes, like make new content, get better ideas and shit. Get more personal. Like we used to. There's just, uh. So many factors that play into it now that it's just like too many people too close to me. It's a sensitive area. Too risky with just the way that YouTube is these days. YouTube is so just PC, man. Then there's cancel culture. I feel like I'm not even big enough to even be, to get canceled, but still. People just want to attack you as soon as they can for anything. So I'm thinking that's why I want to do Patreon. Not insanely expensive, probably just one tier but a page for those of you who want more. Want more like real life shit, deeper shit, stories of my past, like explaining a bunch of things that I could explain that probably have been playing on your mind for a long time. Showing you more like behind the scenes, exclusive access. things house my space you know just a more intimate page of realer shit beyond food you know because I want to do that still too it's just that I don't want everybody having access to it who might have shitty intentions you know I just want to have a group of People who are behind the scenes with me to listen and learn things that are there in like the right energy. They're there for the right reason. The right, the right vibe is there. You don't have to deal with, you know, people just being dinks and trolls and just all that stuff. So, and I mean, you still might get a few, but hey, they paid money to come behind the paywall, so. It's like, that's pointless. Like, they lose. They lose. Like, it's just, you know? Anyways, just things I've been pondering. I've been doing a lot of horizontal, <laughs> looking at the ceiling, pondering my life. And trying to get 
excuse me, a little more creative about things, like make some new lanes, some new territories, get a little, a little more entrepreneurial, push myself a little bit more here to take things in some other directions. So anyways, obviously banging, I'm full, very, very rich. By the end of it, it's like I've had my fill, you know, lots of cheese, gravy, a meat, very rich meal, delicious nonetheless. Give it a try. Why not? See where it takes you. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.